I absolutely love Stockholm. Out of all of the Scandinavian cities, it's the best. And it's not even close. But I love Stockholm not because of its architecture. No, no, no. I, I, I do think that the buildings are, you know, they're, they're kind of nice, but it's, it's a typical rich city architecture. The old ones are kind of fancy and the new ones are exactly the same as I've seen in any other country around the world. I love it because of literally everything else though. The vibe, the parks, the people and the convenience. It's just a nice place to be, to exist in. And now it has become even better. And that's because they finished a really cool building that I like. Remember when I said that all of the new buildings look the same? Well, that's definitely not the case with this one. Rode Huset, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, it translates to Red House by Marge Architects, scratches every single architectural itch that I have. Being surrounded by large blocks and wide infrastructure lanes, it offers a smaller, a more human scale. Something that I can relate to and as well as something that I would read as a thing in the city, an object if you will. Everything else in that central station area of, of Stockholm, it feels more like a bunch of barriers, a bunch of walls, a bunch of lines, a bunch of stuff that you can't pass through, stuff that is in the in the way. Also, this particular place has two levels, two of them. One street basically crossing over another one, right? And this red house, it's right on that intersection, connecting these two planes together, which means it has two entrances and is also hugged by a large urban staircase on one of its sides. This is super lovely, as going along the stairs you encounter um, the facade, you encounter the facade quite up, up close. And Marge Architects, they didn't mess up there as well. They worked together with an artist to make sure that the facade is as lovely up close as it is looking at it further out. This attention to detail is only possible when you build quite small, right? And that is why small scale, it, it just resonates with me. It, it resonates with me the most. The form is quite top heavy, but instead of feeling unstable or flimsy, it appears to be ready to fly. This is due to the angled thin metal shades that are kind of spirally arrayed or I guess arrayed along the perimeter of the house and in two rows. Those little flap flaps uh, give so much character to the building that it's crazy and I, I love it very, very much. And speaking of character, we have to touch upon the color, I guess, right? The color of choice. It's definitely a red house. Hey, it is what it is. And I think that's excellent. Stockholm is quite far up north, meaning that while summers are, they offer 18 hours of daylight at the most, winters are a bit, you know, they're a little bit more brutal. This building stands in the train station area that sees most amount of traffic by far in the whole damn city. Imagine this building in late November. Nordic cities should not be monotone. They should have color. It's not even a, a debate if that would help with increasing the good vibes of the city. And this little point, this little dot, it does just that. It's a small oasis that introduces interest into an area that would benefit the most from it. I'll see you in the next one. Later.